Time, Rotec. Johnny, you know this guy? Wish I did it. Siron, my home. One of six planets in the Mygar Federation. There was a prison break. 218 of the most violent criminals have disappeared into the city of Chicago. Finding them won't be easy. They aren't human. And luckily for us, neither am I. Question. Oh. oh! This the guy, huh? Yeah. Hey, you got some set of cojones walking into my territory, taking out one of my guys like that. Who you working for? Visconti? Kreshnov? I don't know those people. You one of Zin's guys? How do you know Zin? So it's Zin, huh? I wouldn't work for Zin. That's good. Because the guy you whacked did. And to tell you the truth, if you hadn't have done it, I would have. Then I helped you. <laughs> Does it look like we need any help? No. I think you're the one who needs help right now. Take him out. No. Let's see what we can get out of him first. Who's the lucky winner today? The Vardian named Rotec. He's inhabiting the body of a man named Johnny Adonasco. Johnny Adonasco? You've got Johnny Adonasco's life force? Yes. Do you know him? Uh, no, not personally, but my god, he's notorious in Chicago. Notorious. Famous. But for doing bad things. Well, at least his alien personality was the same as his human one. What kind of bad things did he do? I don't know. Extortion, loan sharking, murder, take your pick. How come you're still interested, even though you've got him? Well, I was confronted by some of his associates. They think I was working for Zen. Zen? How was he involved? Seems they're having some sort of disagreement. Zen and the Mafia, great. Yes, it is. I haven't had any information on him in a while. Maybe these men can lead me to him. Well, that'll be impossible. Why? Because they're gangsters, Cole. I mean, you remember the guys that went after Rod? Yes. Well, they all stick together, and they're very powerful. Yes. And they don't talk to anyone except one of their own. Then maybe I can become one of them. <sighs> I don't think so. I don't mean actually become a criminal, Mel. I can pretend to be one so that they talk to me, 
enough. But they think you work for Zim. Well, I have to convince them that I'm on their side. And how do you do that? You can help me. Look, Cole, I have already lost one person to these people, and I'm not prepared to lose another one. So for the first time, I have to say I'm sorry. I can't help you. That is bad. That bad is bad. What's wrong with it? It's you're all right, man. Don't listen to her. What are you doing? I'm just chilling with my homie nest up, representing my peeps from Sion. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Not bad, dude. A little rough. What? Oh. What are you two up to? Nestor's teaching me how to blend into the mafia. Whoa, the mafia? No, you didn't say anything about the mafia. You told me you want to look like a gangsta. That's what Mel said. I did not say gangsta. I said gangster. Mel, this is getting very confusing. A gangster is a lot different. Trust me, Cole. You got that right. You walk into some social club in Little Italy looking like that, they're liable to shoot you and mount your head on well, the wall. Well, good. Look who dressed me in the first place. I did not dress you like that. You're going to do this no matter what I say, right? <sighs> Fine, I will help you. First, we need to get you into the right clothes. You don't look bad. You're terrible. You hear me? Terrible. Okay, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? What do you mean? How, how you doing? You got to feel it, baby. How, how feel you doing? It. How you doing? Here we go. Um, you might want to take a look at these tapes. Thanks. It's The Sopranos. There's some excellent characterization in there. Oh, and I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, a cassette tape of my cousin Sal. That will help you with your accent. Cousin Sal. So, uh, what crew are you looking for? Well, Johnny was part of a gang led by a man named Tommy Fusco. In my research, I found out they, uh, hang out at a restaurant down on Maxwell Street. I know the place. Got a bad reputation. Hmm. Hmm? hmm? What? Um... You might actually pull this off. She's got a set of cojones, you know. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why not? I heard Tommy say that. Cole, it might be a good idea to watch the videos. Just, anyway. Um, that's the least of his problems. What do you mean? Well, Cole was in there busting heads and taking life forces. Like, there's no way they can let him join the club now. I know. I have an idea. Cole? I found a way to control the transformation process. OK, so the question is, who? It can't be someone they recognize. Well, true, but you just can't take anyone's image. Why not? Well, most of these guys have a certain look to them. You know? Excuse me, Nessup, I'm sorry. Can't let you stand there and stereotype a whole group of people. Oh, so you think he can walk in there looking like he stepped off a surfboard in California? They're not gonna beat his ass like Sammy the Bull Pinata? Okay, you have a point. So he needs a certain look. Right. I've got a look. <clears throat> hey, how about this? What you looking at? What you looking at? No, that's right. What you looking at? Forget about it. That's money, baby. Forget about it. Wait a minute. I've got it. Again, again. Try that again. Forget about it. Who's in the zone? Forget about it. Yeah. Yeah, that's but, but you're not following me. Who's in the... Who's in the zone? No, no, no. You're in the zone. Like, you forget. Forget about it. Forget about it. Giuseppe Santorini, the gentleman bandit of Calabria. Infamous in the 1930s. He was sort of a Robin Hood to the peasants. Oh, he looks the part. Let me see. You sure no one will know who he is? He's a pretty obscure figure. I just all of a sudden remembered that I had this picture. It was my grandmother's. She had a little crush on him. Anyway, it's not like we're dealing with history majors here. Right. How's this? Oh, that's sexy. You see that? That's perfect. <laughs> Oh. But I think we should still change your name just to be on the safe side. What's wrong with Cole? Dude, you look good, but remember that, you know, surfboard California story? Nestov. Okay, um, why don't we call you Tony? Tony. Now look who's stereotyping. Tony, how you doing? Oh, no, no, stop, stop. Okay. You got the look, 
a name with some of the moves. But I don't care if you go in there doing a the perfect cappuccino. You can't join up. It ain't like it's a club. He's right, Cole. Like I said, these guys are not just going to let you in. What you need is a story. Yeah, a story.